So, we are here in FL Studio 21. We're in FL 21. Like, bro, it feels so good saying this because I've said FL 20 like so long. Anyways, yeah, we're in FL 21. And then before we even start, let me just like go through the settings. Like, you know, the MIDI part of the setting, it's basically the same, I guess, because I don't really mess around with MIDI stuff much. But then they did, um, like, I mean, for the Mac version, this didn't used to be there. This used to be Windows only, like, to change the sample rates, like, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this used to be for, the, for Windows only, but then we finally have this feature to be able to change your sample rates on a MacBook because at, uh, for, like, at 410, I'm using the Elgato as an audio output right now to hear everything going on and then yeah i can't use it by uh, 4400 i have to use 4800 so yeah anyways um then we have the general when we come to general like they tweak certain things here and there you can see a couple new settings like i mean things that you would use like some things which are helpful for example like the undo history instead of it being at uh, in the file section they've moved it to the general section and then you can increase the number of undos you have like you do maybe like bro it's best to always set it to 99 because you can undo so much and then without limitations and yeah in case you're using a mac this feature is usually weirdly turned off somehow i don't know why it's weird it's weirdly most of the time turned off you can undo only one thing so if you have struggles even in fl studio 20 just go to general like fl studio 20 has it here um yeah i think it's uh, in general but then yeah fl uh, fl studio 20 uh 21 you can just increase the number to 99 and then you have as many undos as possible and then also um, make sure you always check the backup setting. Even if you are using FL Studio 20, the moment you use, like you open up FL Studio 20 or 21, go straight to the, uh, to the settings, go to files, and then change the backup to frequently, every minute, and before risky operations, because, bro, like this shit can crash anytime. Like it can crash any given moment. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be like, on fire making a beat and you forgot to save and then like yeah shit crashes and then you are found fumbling also turn uh turn the maximum uh maximum backup to 999 or whatever number and then they've also brought the plugin um plugin manager over here uh yeah the plugin manager has been open, uh, has been moved to this place. It's, it used to be only in options, but then now it has been moved to this place. So yeah, and then also cool thing is like it's even in FS320. When you open, uh, like when you have any drum kit in location where your drum kit is found or anything, you can just access it from the sidebar here, like from the sidebar on this side. And in order to able to be able to access it straight, just uh, going to wherever your samples are. For example, let's say I want all my loop kits, like every single loop kit I have. I just press here and then boom, automatically it appears here. You see it now, like I have all my loops and samples in FS Studio. Like you don't have to drag it and then drop it there because sometimes it's inconvenient and it doesn't look nice it doesn't look nice also the big the biggest change in fl right now like bro this shit is so hard like i love this thing so much you can just change like you can just change the theme the theme the feel of fl studio finally because you, you like i used to see nick mirror with some dope ass looking FL Studio preset looks there and then it just looked nice. It looks so nice. Uh, Holy is also a producer. I saw him with and I'm like, bro, like, where can I get someone to do something like this for me? But then right now, fuck out there. FL Studio has uh, has done, uh, has brought such a feature in built. Like you can just change the theme. 
I don't want to see anyone with these four themes, like for real. These four themes, they are just hurting my eyes right now. It's too bright. But then like, yeah, the dark theme, you can see. And then also you can uh, play around with the themes. You can do your own thing. You can play with the hue. You can play with the saturation. You can make it darker, like whatever you want, like however you want your theme to look like. Like, bro, it's like, it's endless. And then you can also uh, play with the, uh, change the, the step sequence, uh, the color, the parameters, the options, whatever. Like, bro, you can, you can, you can play with FL so much, so much. Uh, but then let me let me kind of go back to mine like this is mine and then also you can save it you can save it you can like go bounce between a and b and everything you can save your presets and share it with other people for them to use your presets so like that's a really really nice thing and then yeah also the project like they've added this feature not usually when you are saving in, with fl FO usually saves all the clips and everything somewhere else. And then you only get the project file in order to be able to get the project file and then all the sounds, you usually have to go to export and then to export as zip look package. But then this is a thing of the past right now, right? Right now you can save, uh, you can change, like you can save the project with all the sounds and everything in one folder and then you can set up a default like a default folder where you want your things to be and then it will save there straight up straight and direct so like that's also like a little convenient thing i feel like have done and kudos to that and then like yeah uh yeah the rest is just the usual but one thing that still bugs me like a lot it bugs me so so much i hate it for real is wait hold on let me see yeah this ah bro the file manager i can't i can't i can't show it right now but then the file manager bugs me so much because the file manager it's just too darn slow like it's slow as hell it's slow as hell but then like i don't i don't want to be ranting right now so they also did a little like improvements with the sidebar they actually added tags like you can just search 808 and then bro you get every single 808 like every single file named 808 in your in in in, in your in any of your folders let's say you want a z808 then you just type in z808 and then it will find all the z808s in your folder and then like bro it's just such a convenient thing like you have everything here you can also start like you can also start the uh, the things like the sounds you can just start them favorite them and then when you click on star you have all your favorite stuff there also you can toggle between sample midis and like yo what have you like so many things and then also if you like if you let's say you have favorite stuff right you favorited your plugin like i have my uh, favorite cla2a valhalla uh, echo vintage reverb like all my go-to plugins they are all favorite like auto tune and then a few sounds like this bongo sound for for instance like everything you use very often it's just there when you go to tags and then you play uh, uh, click on the star or you just click uh, go up here bro you're gonna have everything straight up like for instance let's say i want uh i want my tag right just type in wobble tag and then bro now you have, have changed the mood you have it like you have it there and yeah that's like bro it's like it's a quality of life improvements like and then they also have a few new plugins here and there for example the vintage phaser the vintage phaser i haven't tested it yet i haven't tried it out yet and like i will but i'm sure like i'm sure it's gonna sound dope i'll be making 
I'll be making a tutorial video. Like I'll be making, I'll, I'll start making cook, uh, cook up videos and everything. And then like, yeah, I'll, I'll ex try experiment with all the plugins. I mean, we also have this multi-band delay. Like it's just a delay which you can like uh, work on the different frequencies. Like I know you, like those of you following, what's this called? Um, this guy saying you get me after all these videos like yeah he he has done an in-depth breakdown of all the plugins like so this basically like a multi-band a multi-band delay and then also we have a new reverb plugin why can't i find the reverb plugin lux verb exactly so this is like a lux this the new reverb plugin i think it's one like it's one of those reverbs where you can just drag a uh, sound in and then oh nah i haven't i haven't i haven't i haven't tried i haven't tried i don't even know how it works like there are a ton of new plugins i will, i can't wait to play with them to have fun with the plugins but yeah like that's fl studio 21 uh i'll also be making a beginner's guide like how to trust me that would be better than this video uh this that would be better than yeah i'll do a beginner's guide on how to actually use fl studio 21 how to make beats like for beginners but then for those of you who already know how to do it kudos to you guys I mean and yeah that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed like you enjoyed and you'll be able to use the new features of fl studio 21 uh with that said and done giveaway it's giveaway time guys free copy of uh, two uh two winners are gonna get a free copy of valhalla vintage reverb each and in order to enter the giveaway just make sure you comment down below I want Valhalla Vintage Reverb or give me that shit, like anything. Just comment down below in order to be able to enter the giveaway. 